Hey guys, let's chat about something that's been lighting up the screens and stirring up the chat rooms lately, Stellar Blade. This game not only smashed sales records, but also sparked a fiery debate. On one side you've got folks who aren't exactly thrilled with how the main characters look lean heavily into the sexy territory, and on the other a large crowd is all in for this sizzling depiction, cheering on the aesthetic as a draw in its own right. Despite the tug of war between naysayers and supporters, Stellar Blade not only survived the heat, but thrived, turning it into a blockbuster hit. Inspired by its success, let's dive into the top 13 games where you step into the shoes of super hot protagonists, who not only look great, but also pack a serious punch. I'm gonna shut your ugly face. Blood Rain. Blood Rain is an action-adventure hack-and-slash game that came out in 2002, created by Terminal Reality. The story starts in 1933 with Rain, a Dampier working for the Brimstone Society on her first mission in Morton, Louisiana. Investigating a mysterious disease outbreak, then it jumps to Argentina where Rain has to infiltrate a Nazi base to stop them from getting their hands on the Skull of Belier, a powerful mystic artifact. The final act takes her to Germany's Castle Gustat where she aims to take down the GGG and its leader, Jürgen Wolf. Now, coming to the protagonist, you're definitely gonna have a crush on. Rain is more than just any other badass protagonist. She's got an incredible mix of beauty, charm, and fierce determination. She's a damn fear on a mission to find her father and will take down any vampire that crosses her path. Her friend and mentor, Mintz, helps her out at first, but seemingly meets a tragic end early on. The main villain, Jürgen Wolf, leads the GGG and is trying to use occult artifacts to boost Hitler's power. These artifacts, which are the scattered remains of the original Devil Belier, gives their owners some serious supernatural abilities. All in all, she's a total package with her striking looks, red hair, and piercing eyes. She's got this lethal charm that makes her stand out, and her flirtatious side adds a fun take to her character. But don't let her beauty fool you, she is all about focus and determination. When it comes to her missions, rest assured, when it comes to slicing through enemies with her blades or using her supernatural abilities, Rain does it all with style. Bayonetta Bayonetta is set in the mysterious European city of Vigrid and follows the titular character, a witch with a flair for shape-shifting and a penchant for gunplay. Awakened from a 500-year slumber with no memory of her past, Bayonetta finds herself embroiled in a historical clash between two factions, the Umbro Witches and the Lumen Sages, guardians of the balance between darkness and light. As she navigates through Vigrid, Bayonetta battles angelic forces, using her magical hair to summon demonic powers. Gameplay in Bayonetta is high-octane action with hack-and-slash mechanics. Players control Bayonetta, chaining to get her melee and ranged attacks with dynamic wicked weave and torture attacks. The game is known for its witch time mechanic, where dodging attacks at the right moment slows down time, allowing for devastating counterattacks. Bayonetta can also transform into various creatures, enhancing her abilities and utilize a variety of weapons and magical attacks to defeat her enemies and navigate through the mystical realms of Paradiso Purgatorio and the Unvisited Inferno. But what really sets Bayonetta apart is her stunning design and unforgettable character. She's tall with long limbs that make her stand out in every battle. Her signature beehive hairstyle and glasses add to her unique witchy aesthetic, blending classic witch elements with modern times. Bayonetta's charm isn't just in her fierce fighting skills, but also in her flirtatious and confident demeanor, which makes her one of the most dynamic characters in video games. Her outfits, crafted from her magical hair, serve both as protection and a fashion statement, perfectly reflecting her personality. In every game, Bayonetta dazzles players not just with her combat prowess, but also with her striking visual appeal and cheeky one-liners. Whether she's battling angels or strutting in her killer heels, Bayonetta owns every scene she's in, making each game in the series a wildly entertaining ride. So if you're up for stylish action and drool-worthy characters, diving into Bayonetta's world is a must.
Affirmative. Go! Near Automata. Next up, we have Near Automata, developed by Platinum Games and released in 2017, takes players into a proxy war set on a futuristic Earth. Here, alien created machines clash with human crafted androids, including the combat android 2B, scanner android 9S, and rogue prototype A2. The game unfolds over multiple playthroughs, and gameplay melds action packed hack and slash combat with RPG elements, allowing players to navigate on foot engage in flying mech battles, and even ride wild animals. Players can switch between characters, and the game also surprises players with shifts into different gaming genres, from shoot-em-ups to text adventures, providing a rich and varied experience. To be here is the symbol of the game's soulful mix of beauty, mystique, and lethal prowess. With her sleek, pale complexion and striking silvery-white hair, 2B embodies the perfect warrior aesthetic. Her attire, a mix of a dark, form-fitting dress and high combat boots coupled with her tactical combat visor, gives her a distinctive look that's both elegant and intimidating. 2B's allure isn't just skin deep. Her calm, composed demeanor masks a complex inner world shaped by her duties and experiences during the 14th Machine War. Her interactions with 9S from combative to deeply cooperative unravel her multifaceted personality. Part cold warrior, part curious soul, which makes her journey through the war-torn landscape all the more poignant. As players explore deeper into the game's story, they discover not just a battle for survival, but a quest for identity, purpose, and connection, with 2B at the heart of this existential exploration. Seriously? Dude. Lollipop Chainsaw In Lollipop Chainsaw, players get to go into the quirky action-packed world of Juliet Starling, a cheerleader turned zombie hunter. On her 18th birthday, Juliet arrives at San Romero High School only to find it overrun with zombies. Amid the chaos, she saves her boyfriend Nick from turning into a zombie by performing a ritual that leaves him as a disembodied head hanging from her belt. As Juliet slices through the undead with a chainsaw, she discovers that a goth classmate named Swan is behind the apocalypse, having summoned musical-themed zombie bosses known as the Dark Purveyors to wreak havoc. The gameplay in Lollipop Chainsaw is hack-and-slash action with elements of dark humor. Juliet wields her chainsaw to dispatch zombies, performing acrobatic attacks and combining high and low strikes to turn her enemies into groggy, vulnerable targets. Players earn medals for their zombie-slaying prowess, which can be used to purchase new moves, combos, and stat-boosting items. Juliet's arsenal also includes the Chainsaw Blaster for ranged attacks and the Chainsaw Dash for slicing through groups of zombies at high speed. The game is peppered with unique mechanics like the Nick Roulette, where Juliet uses Nick's head for various combat effects. Juliet Starling shines as the heart and soul of Lollipop Chainsaw. Sporting her San Romero cheerleading outfit, Juliet gives a typical high school persona with that of a fearless zombie hunter. Her look is iconic, long blonde hair and ponytails, a vibrant purple and red sheer outfit, and an ever-present lollipop in hand. This aesthetic packs a punch of personality and style, making Juliet unforgettable. But Juliet's more than just a pretty face with a chainsaw, and this is one of the reasons you'll keep coming back to play as her. She's spunky, resilient, and occasionally hilarious, often lighting up grim situations with her upbeat attitude and cheeky comments. Her relationship with Nick showcases the depth of her character showing her compassionate and devoted side as she battles through hordes of undead to uncover the truth behind the outbreak and put a stop to Swan's sinister plans. Juliet's charm isn't just in her killer moves but also in how she manages to stay spirited and kind-hearted in a world gone mad. This just a position of cheerleader and brutal zombie slayer makes Lollipop Chainsaw a memorable ride, blending intense gameplay with a lead character who captivates and delights in equal measure. Blades of Time Next, we have another action-packed adventure game, Blades of Time. This game dives into the life of Ayumi, a dual sword-wielding treasure hunter on a quest for riches in a mysterious world called Dragonland. This game brings a cool twist with its Time Rewind feature where Ayumi can rewind time 
to solve puzzles and create clones to aid in battle against hordes of enemies. The dash ability lets her zoom towards enemies or zip across the environment, making for dynamic combat sequences. As Ayumi progresses, she unlocks a wide array of over 40 skills including devastating magical attacks and combos. The game doesn't just stick to solo adventures, it also offers co-op campaigns and PvP action, adding layers of fun and challenges as players explore and fight their way through the game's chaotic world. Stepping into the boots of Ayumi, players find not just a fierce fighter, but a striking figure with a knack for treasure hunting. Her journey in Blades of Time isn't just about slashing through enemies, it's also about unlocking her own potential and mastering a vast array of magical and combat skills. Ayumi's charm isn't limited to her combat prowess, her design features a mix of rugged adventure gear and mystical elegance, perfectly suiting a role as a hero in a land brimming with ancient magic and dark secrets. With her long hair and confident battle-ready expressions, she is really something. Her ability to dash through air, manipulate time, and duel with dragons showcases her as a character who is not only visually captivating, but also immensely powerful and agile. The game's graphics and animation bring out the best in her, making every slash and spell cast visually satisfying. Gravity Rush Gravity Rush, a physics-defying action adventure is where players control Cat, an amnesiac who discovers she has the extraordinary ability to manipulate gravity. She uses this power to navigate the open world of Hexville, helping its citizens in battling mysterious creatures known as Nevi. The gameplay centers around Cat's gravity-defying abilities, allowing her to walk on walls, soar through the air, and even fight enemies from all angles. As the story unfolds, Cat explores various districts of the city, taking on missions that range from combat challenges to delivery tasks, all while uncovering clues about her forgotten past. Cat isn't just your everyday hero, though. She's a gravity-shifting powerhouse with a mysterious allure. From her chic black romper adorned with gold accessories to her smooth blonde hair and captivating red eyes, Cat's design is both stylish and functional, fitting perfectly with her dynamic abilities. Beyond her looks, Cat's charm lies in her cheerful and resilient personality. Despite her amnesia, she faces every challenge with a positive attitude, endearing her to the citizens of Hexville and earning her the title of Gravity Queen. Her powers are not only central to the gameplay but also visually mesmerizing. Watching Cat shift gravity and float through the cityscape is a sight to behold, and controlling her during these sequences feels both empowering and exhilarating. Her ability to alter her gravitational pull makes mundane tasks like navigating the city or battling foes an opportunity to experience her mind-bending abilities. Cat's magnetic personality and gravity-defying antiques ensure that her adventures remain engaging from start to finish. Heavenly Sword Heavenly Sword is a cinematic action-adventure game that spices up intense hack-and-slash combat with a super engaging story and of course with a super hot protagonist as well. Players step into the shoes of Nariko, a fierce warrior wielding the mythical Heavenly Sword to defend her clan against the tyrannical King Bohan and his army. The sword offers three distinct combat stances, speed, range, and power, each changing the weapon's form to suit different combat situations and player styles. The game also integrates quick-time events to amplify its cinematic sequences and incorporates unique controls for guiding projectiles like arrows and cannonballs, adding a tactile dimension to ranged attacks. Nariko is bound to leave a mark on you, not just for her combat skills but also for her visually striking and charismatic presence. With her flowing red hair and intricate warrior garb, she exudes both grace and power that just captivates players. Nariko's design is a perfect blend of strength and elegance, making her one of the most memorable characters in video game history. Beyond her looks, Nariko's character is deeply nuanced. Born into prophecy, yet rejected to her gender, there's a tragic side to her as well. Her relationships, particularly with her adoptive sister Kai, adds layers to her character showcasing her compassionate side amidst the chaos of war. Nariko's ability to shift between different fighting styles with a heavenly sword allows players to experience her adaptability in combat, making each encounter both a strategic and visually dynamic experience. 
Her story fraught with betrayal, duty, and a desperate fight against destiny resonates well beyond the game's conclusion, leaving a lasting impact on players. Soul Calibur Soul Calibur is a tale centered around two mythical swords, the outright evil Soul Edge and a holy Soul Calibur. The story begins with a hero, King Algol, who wielded Soul Edge without succumbing to its evil. Tragedy struck when Algol's son, driven by jealousy, took up the sword and was corrupted, prompting Algol to destroy him and forge Soul Calibur from its remnants. This sets the stage for endless conflicts driven by the sword's powers. The storyline picks up in 1553 with the Spanish pirate Cervantes de Leon, who falls under Soul Edge's influence, wrecking havoc for over two decades. His reign of terror attracts various warriors, including Taki and Siegfried Stoffen, whose tragic histories intertwine with the sword's legacies. Siegfried, after defeating Cervantes, is possessed by Soul Edge, becoming Nightmare. Despite the efforts of warriors like Sophithia and the trio from Asia, Chai Shanghua, Kilik, and Maxi, Nightmare's influence persists until a climatic battle that sees the Soul Edge shattered by Shanghua's blade, revealed to be Soul Calibur. Sophithia Alexandra, a pivotal character in the Soul Calibur series, stands out not just for her combat prowess, but also for her ethereal beauty and compassionate nature. As a Greek warrior blessed by the gods, her journey is driven by her mission to protect her family and the world from their curse. Sophithia's character design exudes both grace and strength, reflecting her role as both a fierce warrior and a loving mother. Her flowing blonde hair and traditional armor provides a visual that is both classic and iconic within the series. Her fighting style, using sword and shield, emphasizes her protective nature, balancing offense and defense in a dance that mirrors her personal struggles between duty and family love. Throughout the series, Sophithia's relationships, especially with her family, highlight her sacrificial nature. Her willingness to compromise her own well-being for the safety of her children adds more to her character, making her battles feel all the more personal and desperate. X-Blades X-Blades offers an intense action-adventure experience featuring Ayumi, a treasure hunter wielding dual pistol blades. The game is set in a fantastical world where Ayumi seeks powerful artifacts believed to contain dark and light forces that could shape the fate of the universe. Players navigate through various levels, combating hordes of enemies with a combination of melee attacks, gunplay and spells derived from either light or dark magic, which influences the game's ending. Gameplay revolves around the strategic use of Ayumi's dual abilities in hack-and-slash combat, complemented by magic spells that players can unlock and upgrade throughout their journey. The effectiveness of combat techniques depends on Ayumi's alignment, light or dark, and her decisions directly impact the game's conclusion. Monster generators add a dynamic challenge, continuously spawning enemies until destroyed, making tactical progression essential. Now let's talk about Ayumi, the protagonist of X-Blades. She is not just a skilled warrior, but a visually appealing one too. Her appearance is bold and distinctive, marked by her minimalistic battle attire and oversized blonde hair, which might make her seem more suited to a glamour model than a fearsome treasure hunter. This visual style sets her apart in the gaming world, where her look is both an asset and a talking point among players. Beyond her looks, Ayumi's character is driven by a relentless pursuit of adventure and power. Her personality is crafted around a classic lone wolf archetype. She is fiercely independent and determined, traits that resonate through her relentless combat style. Her dual wielding of pistol blades allows for her fluid and dynamic gameplay, emphasizing her prowess as both a gunslinger and a sword fighter. As players guide her through the game, they uncover not just hidden treasures, but also the many facets of her enchanting and multifaceted character. Senran Kagura Skirting Shadows Senran Kagura Skirting Shadows takes us in the secret world of ninjutsu training reserved exclusively for high school girls. Set in the confines of Hanzo Academy, the game follows the lives of five trainee shinobi, Asuka, Ikaruga, Katsuragi, Yagyu, and Hibari. 
Players take control of these characters through various missions where they face off against rival ninja schools. The gameplay is fast-paced, somewhere between combat and visual novel-style storytelling, allowing players to engage in intense battles and deep narrative arcs. Each character has unique abilities and skills, making the combat experience varied and engaging. In the game, you get to be Asuka, whose charm and appearance have made her a favorite among fans, with her ponytail secured by a white ribbon and her distinctly voluptuous figure. Asuka combines a youthful, energetic personality with the deadly skills of a seasoned shinobi. Her design, characterized by exaggerated physical features, plays into the game's over-the-top style, which doesn't shy away from flaunting its characters' allure through their ninja outfits and dynamic action sequences. Despite the controversy surrounding the game's depiction of female characters, which some critics have labeled as overt sexualization, fans and defenders of the series argue that there's more to it than meets the eye. They point to the deep personal stories and growth of characters like Asuka, who beyond her appearance is a dedicated and earnest ninja with aspirations and emotional depth. This mix of serious storytelling with lighthearted, often flamboyant gameplay creates a unique niche within the gaming community. Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball is a weird but unique spin-off from the usual combat-focused Dead or Alive series. Set right after Dead or Alive 3, the game whisks players away to Zack Island, where the series' female characters take a break from fighting to engage in beach volleyball and various other mini-games. The gameplay primarily revolves around volleyball matches with players forming teams of two. Alongside volleyball, players can participate in gambling at a casino, gift-giving to build relationships or relax and take in the virtual sun, all while earning and spending the in-game currency on a wide array of swimsuits and accessories. The charm of this game lies not just in its gameplay but significantly in its vibrant cast of characters, particularly the game's main protagonist, the women from the Dead or Alive series, each character from the ninja Ayane to the wrestler Tina brings her own unique flair and style to the island, and not just through her skills on the volleyball court but also through her distinctive personality and tastes. The game allows players to deepen relationships with these characters by gifting items that align with their preferences, which can also influence their performances in games. Each character is rendered with attention to detail, accentuating their individuality and charm through both their physical appearance and their interactive behaviors. The range of available swimsuits, many of which are quite revealing, along with the ability to view characters from nearly any angle, adds a layer of allure that has been both iconic and controversial from the series. From relaxing under palm trees to competing on the sandy courts, the women of DOAX bring a lively and engaging energy to the gameplay, making it a memorable experience that's more about leisure and character interaction than the high stakes of a typical sports game. Succubus Succubus is acclaimed as one of the edgiest games on Steam. The game focuses on intense combat and exploration where players control a succubus surviving in a horrifying and chaotic underworld. The essence of the game lies in its extreme visual style and violent scenes designed to offer a thrilling and unconventional gameplay experience. The main character of Succubus really grabs your attention. Vidya is a deeply complex character in the Agony universe. In Agony slash Unrated, she's depicted as a devoted servant, priestess, and lover of the Red Goddess, embodying deep loyalty and multifaceted relationships within the infernal hierarchy. This background enriches her character, providing layers of motivation and intrigue. She's got this killer combo of allure and danger that makes her impossible to ignore. First off, those fiery red eyes and sharp features give her a fierce look, like she's always ready for a fight. And her skin? It's this intense red shade covered in cool tattoos that show off her toned and curvy figure. It's like she's both a warrior and a work of art. Her outfit? Or really? The lack of one plays up the classic succubus vibe. She's rocking minimal armor that's more about flaunting her physique than protection. It's both hot and practical, highlighting her strength and her sultry side. And the way she moves, totally confident and smooth, like she owns the underworld. Whether she's in a fight or just walking around, she's got this mesmerizing grace. Even her voice has a sort of hypnotic quality, all sultry and enticing. 
Matching her bold and seductive personality, she's not just eye candy, she's a force to be reckoned with, blending deadly combat moves with a charisma that's just captivating. Playing as her isn't just about fighting through hordes, it's about being enthralled by her charm and power. She's definitely not your typical game character and that's what makes her so memorable. Wrapping up this list shows that games featuring irresistibly attractive protagonists continue to capture gamers' hearts and eyes worldwide. Whether you're in it for the compelling gameplay or the stunning character designs, these games prove that beauty and brawn can go hand in hand and they sell like hotcakes. As the debate around character sexualization versus character empowerment rages on, these titles stand out on their own because of the charismatic leads. So, grab your controllers, choose your hero, and get ready to experience some of the hottest adventures in gaming history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below letting us know your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this one. This is Daveem, and I'll see you on the next one.